if nobody cares what you're wearing, just don't look like a goofball, you know? <laughs> so you're not the center of the universe and get over it. Good morning, it's August 26th and I am eight days out today. I feel really tired today. Uh, I know I'm a professional and being tired and hungry is part of the job, but it's really hitting me this morning. I carb cycle three days no carbs, one day carb, and on my no carb day, I get 15 grams worth of carbs from a piece of Ezekiel bread and about 30 to 35 more carbs in a day through vegetables. After day three and after leg day yesterday, I'm done, man. I, I, I can't tell you how done I am. Um, uh, single digit body fat life is miserable, just miserable. It is, it is so hard to focus on anything. This morning I was really grumpy, can't remember one thing from the next, and this is one reason why I need to do list because I have so much on my to-do list and when I don't write it down, it just makes me frustrated when I just keep on remembering things I need to do and I just go from one place to the next. Everything annoys me, everything. Um, so I'm doing the, uh, um, my talk here today because I'm sure you're probably sick of seeing me be on the bike. So today we're gonna cover the bar on law number two and my next story uh, from competition. Bar on law number two states, you are not the center of the universe, so get over it. So many people, especially young people and women, think that everybody is staring at them in the gym, that they are judging them, they're judging how much they lift, what they're wearing, how they look. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. When I see these young people walking around the gym out of shape with their shirts off, it's just, it's pathetic. And I see them videoing, you know, men, women, you know, novice lifters videoing everything they do. Nobody cares. Hell, I'm a professional athlete and I really don't like to take my shirt off in the gym. You know, I do that to pose and every once in a while for a, a video just to check my technique, to look how my body's looking, but I, I just don't understand these young people who have to record everything they do. Who is watching it really? So if nobody cares what you're wearing, just don't look like a goofball, you know? <laughs> so you're not the center of the universe and get over it. I have a Patreon page and I have the link below. Any sponsorship would be such a big help to me. It will help me get to these pro shows that I'm going to. It also helps me buy the equipment that I need to create these videos. So I am planning on making some private videos for my Patreon contributors. So please check out the link below and thank you so much for your support. All right. Uh, my third show was the uh, NPC East Coast Maryland State Championships. And it was done at the Hippodrome Theater in Baltimore, which is beautiful. And I'm going to be showing you pictures of this, of course. Uh, once again, I had Denard go with me. I had a great time. Uh, I went into multiple categories, and I think I won like three or two third places and a fourth place. So you can see a trend here. Remember that. And that's the first time I ever met Jerry Ward in person, and I'd been watching him on BioS3 TV for a couple of years. So it was really cool to meet him, and he was very nice. And I met another famous bodybuilder who was a guest poser and he did fun stuff. His name was Andy and for the life of me, just because of my lack of carb brain, I can't remember his name. And he passed away last year. And, um, but you know, that was neat to meet him. Uh, it was such a good experience. It was a really good show. 
And so it was like three shows I did my very first year of competing. Uh, that was hard on my body, but I was younger then. <laughs> and uh, I didn't feel like everything hit me so hard. I hope you've been enjoying this series and all my videos. So make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. Something else I want to talk about today. And this weekend is the Masters Mr. Olympia. So I'm going to try to follow up with that as much as I can today. I, when I hear younger people, YouTubers, creators talk about this show, in a way it upsets me because I don't know why they are expecting these guys to look like, and gals, to look like they did when they were in their prime. And then some of them wonder, why are they doing this? You know, they're 50 years old. You know, why are they subjecting their bodies through this? And it's because we love the sport. You know, I have been in love with bodybuilding since 1977. And I've followed it all this time. It is my sport. And, you know, uh, people follow football for years. So I care about it. And I understand why older, there are lots and lots of us masters competitors. And we do it because we love it. Yeah, you know, we're not in this for the money. We're in this because we love it. It is our lifestyle. And I wish these young people would just get off their back and stop criticizing them for not looking as young as they used to and being as big as they used to be. They're doing the best they can. <laughs> and as most of us, our extended warranty is about up. So, or our extended warranty is over. I wish my parents got the extended warranty from me when I was younger because my warranty ran out a while ago. I think these masters competitions are very important because it inspires people, guys and gals in their 40s and 50s and even 60s to stay active and stay competing. And you know, maybe you don't have to compete into your 60s. You know, that was my big goal to at least do one show when I was 60 years old. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not. I'm really not. So until next time, let's see you back in the saddle.